sand batteries. Stop building sand batteries. It could be argued that I am one of the YouTubers that began the sand battery phenomenon. Um, I didn't invent the idea, but if you look over here at my history, um, I posted a sand battery video about two years ago, and it's about 600, 500, 600,000 views. So now everybody is building sand batteries because they're kind of a neat project and they get clicks. Not many people are actually doing scientific testing on them. And the more testing I've done and the more research I've done, because they're kind of a fun project to build, is that they just don't make any sense for residential use. And I actually did say this in an, in an older video, but people just keep building them. Here's why. So most, there's, there's two types of sand batteries that everyone's building. Number one is taking solar panels and putting them into uh, either a hot water heater element, which is what I used to do, or into an electric stove element because they can handle more power. Okay. Well, you're still only getting the amount of wattage in that you're getting out. And let me clarify that. So and, uh, my water heater element was like 1,000 watts, okay? Electric stove element is 1,000 watts. So think of like your stove is 1,000 watts. This is 1,000 watts. This is a $20 space heater from Amazon. Is this going to heat your house? No. Is this going to heat a room? Yeah, a small room, assuming it's not that cold, maybe. And it's going to run all the time to heat your room. So that's in a perfect world scenario. This is a thousand watts. So, and heat is heat is heat is heat is heat. So the thousand watts coming out of this is exactly the same as the thousand watts that's coming out of my electric stove element or my hot water heater element. So I'm going to take a thousand watts of solar panels and feed it into my hot water heater element and put, get a thousand watts of heat out of it. The great misconception is what happens to that heat. So if I put that thousand watts into a hundred pounds of sand and I get that sand up to, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500 degrees as everyone shows on their videos. Well, that's cool but that heat is going into the sand, it's not going into the air. So my bucket of sand is now warm, but my, the air in my room is cold. Because you can't, you can't create extra heat out of nothing. Think of heat as if it's a bucket of water. So I've got a thousand gallons of water. I can pour that water into a bucket of sand or I can spray it up in the air, but I still only have a thousand gallons of water. So it's, I'm not making any more heat. I'm just moving it. This is the laws of thermodynamics is that you can't, you know, you're kind of, you can't create heat out of nowhere. I'm just moving it from one place to another to another. And it is true that if you heat up sand, and it will stay hot for a couple of hours, and then it will dissipate. I actually tested this in some of my videos with a data logger to prove this, but all that means is that the, the, the air in your room is cold, and the heat from the sand is going into the room, and so after eight hours, after it's all evened out, you haven't net gained anything. So you, you really have not accomplished anything any different than just having a space heater. The reason why, and th this same thing works for people who are putting candles into a flower pot full of sand. You are accomplishing absolutely nothing from a thermodynamic perspective. You have, you have done literally nothing other than you could have just put the candle on your table and lit it. By warming up the sand, you're just taking heat away from the air 
and moving it into the sand, and then the sand is just going to go back up into the air as the heat dissipates. You, you, you have net gained nothing other than getting a whole bunch of clicks on a YouTube video from other people who want to watch the project. Done it. So it just doesn't make any sense. If you are looking for a emergency heating option, my strong recommendations are an electric blanket or a Mr. Buddy propane heater. Why do I say that? An electric blanket is heating your body, not the open air. I don't need to heat the ceiling in my bedroom if it's cold outside. I need to heat my body. And in my testing, an electric blanket draws around 300 to 400 watt hours over an eight hour period. That is easily doable on solar panels with a portable power station. Or if you do need to heat a room, um, you know, cold air or, or water pipes or something like that, then use a propane or diesel heater. But I promise you, taking a candle and putting it in a bucket of sand is not going to heat your room. It's, it's not going to keep your pipes from freezing. It's just not. Warming up that mass of sand is not going to net gain you anything. So thanks, everyone. Let me know what you think down below.